G'day, it's Steve and Bella from exercises.com.au. Today we're gonna to show you how to do a power snatch. Let's have a demonstration from Bella. Excellent, and side on. Okay, with the power snatch, we're going from the ground and one dynamic movement, basically throwing that bar up over our head and then catching in a powerful position. So starting off, we wanna make sure that our hands are out wide, okay? And we're bending at the hips and knees. So the feet are about hip width apart, okay? The shoulders must be above the hips, okay? We've got that lever there, her back is set. As we're coming up, we wanna make sure we lock the breath in, be nice and tight in the core. She's coming up slow to the knees. Once she gets to the knees, she's got vertical shins, and then it's a big jump, okay? See how she's caught it? Knees are starting to track over the toes, the hips are back, she's locked out her elbows, but she isn't in a full depth squat. She's caught in a power position and then standing up. Okay, coming back from that, we're gonna show you a few faults that would generally happen. Okay, so the first one is coming up with straight legs. So that's extending the knees. Okay, she can still throw that bar up over her head because she's still got that lever. However, it's a lot of load in the lower back. And then going again, so this one will be a muscle snatch. So that's a really slow movement, okay? And then slowly moving that bar up overhead. And the last one is catching with the feet wide. So people tend to try and get underneath that bar by taking the feet out. Okay, bit of a starfish going on there. Feet are really wide. She's got her hips below the shoulders. Generally people with short, uh, poor shoulder mobility uh, try to do that because they're trying to keep the bar directly over their shoulders and hips. Let's have a look at one more good rep. Oh. Excellent, and that's a power, a power snatch. Search through exercises.com.au for more great videos. We'll see you next time.